In today's video we have an original Xbox motherboard on the workbench. This is a 1.4 revision and we're going to be doing the RAM upgrade. Let's get started. Okay we're going to start with the RAM chip closest to the AV port. Now when you put your chips on here you're going to notice that it has the same orientation as the chip beside it. So the wording is going to be exactly the same so just match that up. We're going to add some flux to it. We're just going to tack one corner in. Okay, once you're happy with that, go ahead and tack another corner in. Okay, once you're happy with it, just add some more flux. We're going to be doing the drag technique. Okay, we're gonna spin it. You'll notice that we do have a few bridges. It's not going to be a problem. We're just going to fix it with some solder braid. Put a little bit of flux on your braid. Just like that, it's going. So don't be afraid to use a little bit more solder than you need. We make sure you have a good connection. Okay, just like that, we've got one done. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one.
Okay, just like the other one, we're going to orientate it the same way as the chip beside it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and tack this corner in. And take this one. Okay, once you got it all lined up, go ahead and put some flux around it. Go ahead and start dragging some solder. We're going to go around and fix some bridges. Clean up with some alcohol. Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and speed through these last ones, but it's going to be the same process as the other ones.
Okay, now that we have all our RAM chips installed, let's go ahead and clean the air with some isopropic alcohol. Okay, now you want to go over your RAM chips very thoroughly. I suggest using a magnifying glass and check for any possible bridges and address those before powering it up. You could also go over the RAM chips with your multimeter and set the tester to the continuity tester and check for shorts. Okay, now that we've completed soldering all our RAM chips, we're going to go ahead and test the RAM with XBlast OS. We're going to go into settings, tools, we're going to click on the RAM test. Okay, all the RAM tests came back successful. If you found this video helpful, Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video.